This video is going to be about salary structure in ERP Next. Now we know that salary structure is made up of different salary components which we saw in the previous video. So the way it is in ERP Next is that first we need to create a salary components and based on that components we will be creating a salary structure. And the same salary structure will be used to create a salary sleep for an employee which we will be seeing in the later videos. This video is solely about salary structure. Now salary is based on three different, like salary is of three different type. One is of general components, one is a timesheet based and one is a flexible benefit along with general components which we will see. So let's begin with the general component salary structure. Now right now I'm in the payroll module and to create a salary structure you need to be HR user as well as HR manager also. So let's, so let's, um, I'll go and select and I'll simply name it as salary structure general component now general components means that I am not going to be selecting this one that is salary sleep based on timesheet and I won't be adding any flexible benefit component in this earnings or deduction alright so it will be a simple plain salary structure Alright, so what you need to do is first you need to enter the name and then the letterhead is basically this will be used in the salary slip. So when we go to the salary slip, we'll come back to this part later. Now you need here we have the active over here, which is pretty self-explanatory, and then we have the payroll frequency. So if I select um, monthly, fortnightly, bi-monthly, so depending on any of those, um, the salary slip will be created. For example, if I select monthly so it will only generate the monthly salary slip and for example we can see here so monthly will select the date from like first and then end at the 30th April and if we select daily then it is like a daily salary slip now all of this are just a payroll frequency which we need to take care of now here is the currency for the salary which um, which is INR now make sure that you have the default currency also as the INR otherwise there will be a lot of confusions okay now the next is salary slip based on timesheet which will come back to it again now here you can add the leave en engagement amount per day based on this salary structure so in case like there are any engageable leaves for an employee so we can define the leave engagement amount per day so let's say I add the engagement amount as 1000 so what will happen is depending on this particular salary structure this much amount will be engaged uh, engageable to an employee okay depending upon the leaves that which they have not used now leave engagement is basically a whole different topic so let's continue with the salary structure for now now maximum benefits uh, maximum benefits is useful when we select a flexible component like over here we saw that flexible benefit plus general components right so when I'll be creating this salary structure I'll come back to it again all right so let's go to the earnings component and the deduction component so for earning I'll simply select one component which I have created before that is in hand salary okay here this this one okay so all right let me take a look at that this particular component I want it to be pretty straightforward so what I'll do is I'll remove this particular formula from here and I'll just add a simple amount okay it's 25,000 let's keep it as it is all right let me delete it and add it once more so that the amount is fetched to in hand okay so I added the in hand component and the amount should be fetched I don't know why it's not here yet okay it's all right okay here it is now next one we'll add is the home rent allowance okay HRA let me see where it is here so for home rent allowance you can see that the um, there is not an amount over here but instead we have a formula over here 
which will be calculated based on the formula. So when we, when we will create a salary slip, at that time we will understand what I mean by this. And I'll also add a deduction component. So let's say I'll add this one, okay. And the amount should be should be added by now. Okay. So now important thing to note while creating a salary structure is that uh, there should be some amount over here or if there is no amount here there should be at least a formula for example we have the formula here okay otherwise if it is zero over here the there won't be any component added then and here we just have the account that is a mode of payment that we are trying to do so i will select cash over here and the payment account is cash okay and let's just save it now you depending upon your preference you can add a different mode of payments um, now you need to make sure that you are like cre setting it as a default mode of payment for example uh, if I have selected check you can see that what I got this okay so let's add cash and that's it I'll just save it and submit it okay now this salary structure is created now next one what we'll do is we'll create a salary structure based on timesheet now next one is timesheet based so I'll write here salary structure which is timesheet based okay now these all are the things that were already there before now what I'll do is I'll just select here salary sleep based on timesheet so let me do it now once you select that you get this two fields over here now the salary component now for salary slip based on a timesheet you need to add the salary component over here it is really important so let's say I'll select over time component okay over here it is and timesheet based salary is actually um, based on the hourly rates so here you need to add a rates over here so I'll add 500 so based on the employees working hour this particular salary will be calculated based on the timesheet now for the um, salary structure based on this timesheet there's no need to add the earning component over here since it will be calculated solely based on this hour rate okay so what I'll do is I'll just save it and I'll submit it and that's it I have created a salary sh uh, salary structure based on timesheet now you'll understand the working of this when we will create a salary slip in another video so I'll come back to it later at that time alright so this was the two different salary structure now let's create one more salary structure that is based on flexible benefits as well as salary structure flexible benefits plus general components all right now here I can add a leave encashment amount if I want to if there is any leave encashment amount there or let's say I'll add 1000 okay so you can also add for the salary with the flexible benefit salary component you can also add another component so I'll select in hand first and let's select health benefits over here okay and before going into that first let's see let's open health benefit and see what it is so here you see that we have a maximum benefit amount that is 10,000 added over here alright so once you've added this and uh, for now let's ignore deductions okay consider that I'm not adding any deductions and what I'll do is I'll try to save and then you see the message that I get so I'm getting this maximum benefits should be greater than zero to dispense benefit so what it means is that whatever flexible benefit components you add over here those total should be added over here also so since we saw that maximum uh, health benefits maximum benefit amount was what 10,000 right so I need to mention 10,000 here also and I'll just save it and that's it this is how you create a 
salary structure with the flexible benefits so for salary structure with flexible benefits you need to add this maximum benefits like we saw here in the general components one I did not add any maximum benefit because there was no salary component which was based on flexible benefits so I hope everything is clear here regarding salary structure if you have any questions do mention them and in the next video we will be seeing salary slip now we will be creating salary slip based on this three different salary structure and understand it in a more detailed way and thank you so much for watching